Hello and welcome back to CBL Wellness Chill Vibes Only. I'm Allie and today's video is going to be three steps for processing hard emotions. So I used to be the girl who would shut down any feeling, any negative emotion. I think when I was growing up, I was told often like, oh, don't get sad or like, don't get upset or, you know, it's fine. Like, you don't need to be sad about this. And it kind of stuck in my brain that emotions are scary and that we can't feel them and that we need to shove them down deep, deep, deep down inside until, you know, something happens and everything just erupts and explodes and we have a mental bead or a mental breakdown. So as I've gotten older, I have learned that that's not the best way to deal with my emotions and there's more helpful ways that I can deal with them. And I have three tips today that have helped me immensely when it comes to feeling my feels that I'm going to share with you. So the first step um, might be a little bit obvious, but it is to feel your feelings. Um, and not just feel them, label them, acknowledge them, greet them, you know, offer them a seat at the table and hang out with them for a bit. Um, and this can be really, really hard for some people. I know it's scary to often feel um, some emotions that you might not be ready to feel or that you might not want to feel. But you know, sitting with grief or sitting with sadness or sitting with anger, I mean like, yeah, like this really upset me. Like this is making me feel incredibly anxious. I am so angry at this situation. Uh, you know, crying, screaming, like really processing and sitting with it and acknowledging it, saying, I'm feeling this right now. I'm feeling this and I'm acknowledging it and I'm letting myself feel it is so important. Um, and doing so in a safe space. So if you, if you feel like you have to do that alone, do it alone. If you need to talk to a friend about it or just call someone and say like, hey, I'm really upset right now and I need someone to sit with me while I cry and, and hold space for me, um, that's something that you can do. But it's so important to feel our feelings. Obviously, there's a time and a place. If you're in you know, a really important meeting or um, you know, there's a big event going on or you're, you're stuck somewhere where you're in, um, in a moment where you don't feel comfortable or safe to feel your feelings, that's when I usually take a deep breath, you know, I count backwards from five, I do my task, and then I make um, an excuse or I find a reason to leave as soon as possible so that I can go make space for my feelings. So definitely, um, you know, read the situation, but take the time and take the space to feel it. I recommend at least a day, um, but no more than two or three days. And also, I just want to say a quick disclaimer. This is for like our regular everyday feels. Obviously, if you are dealing with any sort of mental health um, crisis or you are struggling with mental health, please, please, please go see a professional um, and please talk to them. Uh, there are so many wonderful resources out there and you're not alone um, and there are people who can help you. This video is more though for, you know, our regular feelings that show up day to day. Okay, second tip is to actively move the feeling around slash out of you. Um, I always say like sweat. You don't have to sweat, but I find personally for me like a workout, a run, a walk, or sitting in a sauna, like doing something where I feel like my body is shifting and moving and like the energy in it is being shaken up. Um, I really, really, really truly believe that um, our bodies can hold so much tension and tightness uh, and it's important after we feel our feelings and process them to give our bodies a chance to release them. Um, so whatever way you feel like you can do that, find some way to move your body, um, some way to get that kind of angsty energy out. Um, and if you can sweat, great. And then my third tip is to make a plan with a loved one or someone who you care about or anyone who can bring you a sense of connection. Um, oftentimes, and I do this all the time, uh, when we get upset or we're, you know, we're anxious, we can sometimes want to retreat or be alone and like isolate. Um, but I truly believe people and connection is the way through these problems. Um, I don't think it's healthy or fair to have to sit alone with things. I think that you're allowed to create space in your life for people and things that bring you joy. Hold you accountable um, and be there to support you. Even though you might want to you know, lie on the couch and watch movies all day, 
it might be more helpful to go, you know, grab a coffee with a friend. Uh, or even if you have to, invite the friend over to watch the TV with you. Um, but I truly believe not being alone is such a big step in kind of like moving through and processing our feelings. And I even recommend not just making one plan with a friend, but making a couple plans with different friends. Um, it can really help hold you accountable, like even after the first time, if you're still feeling a little like, ugh. You know, the second time might bring you out of it a little bit more, the third time might bring you out of it even more than that. And the reason why I say this is because whatever you're going through and whatever anger you're processing or upset or grief is that that thing in your life, you're going to take it out of your life, right? You're removing it from your life. So that creates space and you need to fill that space with something positive, something that's going to bring you joy, something that's going to uplift you. Even if it's just temporary, you need to fill that void. Um, you don't want to just create this space or feel this gap or feel this longing and not have anything else to ground yourself. Um, and so you know, when we get rid of the crap and the stuff that no longer serves us, it's important that we also take time to consciously think about what we want to bring in and what is going to make us feel better and what is going to serve us. So that's why I recommend um, making a plan with a friend, trying out something new, doing something where you feel like you're connected to a community. And yeah, take it easy, take it day by day. Um, you know, feeling our feelings is not an easy task and when we're going through something hard, it's really challenging. So I want you to know that like you're not alone in this. Um, you know, with the lows come the highs. And unfortunately, like this is just a part of life and a part of feeling um, and a part of living. But you're strong and you can get through it. And I hope these tips helped you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're looking for more information, give us a follow at CBO Wellness. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really, really helps our channel. And hopefully I'll see you for a video soon.